Okay, this is what we're talking about. Oh wait, oh uh, yeah, kill switch. Remember, throw kill switch. Now you got your blue and your back wire that comes from the CDI pack. You also got your other blue and your back wire that comes from the magneto. Right now, the wires that are inside the loom here are red and yellow and green. Now that's kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the way the Chinese made because the kill button up here is red and yellow and green. Right, but you know what I'm saying? You can do it like this. You know what I'm saying? Me being me. Right? All, we, all you're really doing is just wiring in the switch, right? Between the power source. It kills it, leaves it on or off. Right? You, you hold the button for a moment, and right, it kills it. Right? So it doesn't matter which wire is connected to which wire. It's, what matters is that each, both of the wires are connected. Right? So, right? me being me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe just cool that little doodad right here. Right? I got my. Got my magneto wire, you know, all encased, right, and run up through the hole, right to here. Right, I gotta splice it now. Now, I already had this already made, but then I forgot I was gonna put the kill switch in. So, figured I'd just do the whole thing right now and show you guys what I'm doing, how, to, how I would do it, right? See, so look, we got plenty of line to splice, right? Okay, so, but what you wanna do, though, is you don't wanna splice this wire into here, you wanna splice this wire into here. Right, so what we need to do is we need, I need to run two bars up to, to the length of here, splice in here, and then splice this in on top of it. And I'm going to do it all with barrel connectors. So Now in this instance here, right, the blue wire is basically the hot wire, and the black wire is the ground wire. Because right, that's how magneto works. Magneto works like everything else, you know, hot and ground. Right, so, right, since I don't have any blue wire, <laughs> right, I've got a little piece of this red stuff. And I'm going to splash the red one in with the blue one to keep the whole, you know, the whole idea of it being hot, hot. The standard blue barrel connector. We're connecting it to the blue wire, remember the hot. Make sure it goes all the way in and covers the insulation. Right, that's the point of this. I'm going to do the same thing with back wire. Right, okay now. There's another way to strip wire, you know, saying the fast way. Uh, some people call it the Mexican way. But here, here, here's the tool, here's the trick. You light it up. <laughs> and uh, there's more ways than one to skin this is skin kitty cat. Now we're gonna put him on the back because he's ground. He's ready to splash. So get the dikes back. Cut them both right there. See, there's millions of ways to do this kind of stuff. It depends on how you want to do it. But if you want your speeder bike to fucking run, it's optimal. It's best. You know what I'm saying? You want to get something out of it. You want to build that. You want to build it right in the first place, right? So that means if you got fabricated shit, you got fabricated shit. But you got fabricated right, you got know what the hell you're doing. Right? There's lots of different ways. Everybody has their own style. Everybody does their own thing, right? Ah, oh, let's see. Just cut this off about right there. Just the wires real fast. Some people say that this anneals the copper and it weakens it, but you know what? It's not heating the copper that much. It's just fucking, right? If you're just melting the insulation just enough, strip it off. Look, and you look, the copper's just bright as shiny as ever. If it was annealed, it would change colors. All right, see? That anneal, look it up. Jesse James talks about it in his show. All right, because he's a metal worker too. Okay, so now I'm stripped the red for this one. See, red strip. Now red, right? Okay. You gotta give what you gotta get, bro. Huh? So 
the blue goes to the red, and the black goes to the black, and both of these fit in, right? So, we're going to strip these babies down. Right. See where we get out the old Mexican wire stripper? Oops. Just a little while ago, the jets were out there flying around, dude. Man, the one of them broke the sign, boom, 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 twice. And those things are awesome, I'm telling you. Out there playing good guys, bad guys. Right. How simple this is, good God. This is not rocket science, just little brothers. This is motorized bicycle science. Right. Jump them in there, good and far. Right. You can do the same thing right now with the green and the black. Right. That way you can just grab it. Oops. All right, right now. Now I better do something. Bad info there. Oh, I forgot to put this fucking thing on. Oh well. So now look, they were pretty tight. Uh, pretty clean looking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I know it's a double connection, but you know what I'm saying? Goofy asked me, I cut the wire in the wrong place. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but look, that's how I do it. Wire in the kill switch, the CDI pack, and the magneto on a 48cc China Doll motorized bicycle. Right? This is me, Brian. Thank you.